Welcome back to the channel. I'm Keith, and today we're talking bearing failure, specifically preventing shaft voltage and bearing currents. I wanna thank everyone who's been following along with our videos. Have an idea for the next video? Leave me a comment with your ideas below. And subscribe if you wanna be notified when we release the next episode. Why do VFDs cause bearing damage? Electric motors fitted with VFDs are at risk of bearing damage due to a buildup of current in the rotor that discharges through the shaft. Current buildup can cause cratering, which is when the hot spark melts a tiny area on the bearing surface and deforms it. This leads to vibration, which produces damage to the bearing races known as bearing fluting. This reduces the insulating effectiveness of the lubrication and worsens the problem. Eventually, the damage becomes so severe that total failure of the bearing occurs and you're looking at some costly repairs. To prevent this, we recommend using Aegis ring on your VFD motor. The rings provide a path for the current in the shaft to reach the ground without going through the bearings. We recommend using these with every motor that's paired with the VFD to prolong the life of the motor. It's essentially an insurance policy to protect your assets. Some VFD motors never have an issue and some motors have shaft current issues within the first few weeks of operation. It really depends on how well your motor's grounded, how it's coupled to the load, and the application conditions. You'll wanna choose the right size of bearing ring to ensure proper contact. You can size the Aegis grounding ring by either the frame size or shaft diameter. I've linked the Aegis ring size chart in the description for you. We'll cover how to install a U-Kit universal mounting bracket. The instructions for each mounting option can be found linked in the description. Step one. Choose either a three or four hole bracket pattern based on the configuration of the motor and bracket. You'll need a minimum of three brackets to safely secure the U-Kit. Split rings use a four hole pattern. Step two, remove your grounding ring from packaging. When handling, make sure you don't crush these microfibers as they need to be in contact with the shaft. Using the included Allen wrench, assemble the brackets to the Aegis ring using the flathead screws. Use a grounding ring to mark the drill holes on the end bell. Step four, remove the end bell, drill and tap your holes, and put the end bell back on the motor. Step five, prepare the shaft. The shaft must be conductive, so ensure any paint or corrosion is removed. It should be cleaned to the bare metal. To make sure, you can check the conductivity of the shaft using an ohmmeter. Step six, do a basic surface resistance test. Place the positive and negative meter leads on the shaft where the microfibers will contact. Each motor will have a different reading, but in general, you should have a maximum reading of less than two ohms anywhere you check the shaft. If the reading is higher, clean the shaft again and retest. Step seven, optional but recommended. Apply a thin coat of colloidal silver shaft coating. Allow the first coat to dry and apply another coat. Wait for that coat to dry. The silver protects the shaft from rusting. Step eight, Install the Aegis ring so that the aluminum frame maintains an even clearance around the shaft. Make sure those microfibers are in contact with the shaft. Do not use thread lock to secure the mounting screws as it may compromise the conductive path to ground. If thread lock is required, use a small amount of EP2400 Aegis conductive epoxy to secure the screws in place. Step nine, test for a conductive path to ground using an ohmmeter. Place one probe on the metal frame of the Aegis ring and one probe on the motor frame. The reading should be less than one ohm. The motor must be grounded to the common earth ground with the drive, according to the Canadian Electrical Code standards. And you're set. Your motor bearings are now protected from the shaft current caused by VFD use. We do stock Aegis grounding rings at emotorsdirect.ca. These are shipped out of our Edmonton, Alberta warehouse. Contact our team for help finding the right grounding ring for your application. I've included a link to the Aegis grounding ring size chart and installation guide in the description for your reference. If you need a hand finding the right one, we are Aegis ring distributors and can help you get the right product for the job. I'm Keith with eMotors Direct, Canada's electric motor supplier. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs>